Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up scheduled email delivery in Looker Studio. So what this basically means is that any of the pages in your reports, you can send them uh, at scheduled intervals to whoever you like, basically. So it's a very useful feature, particularly if you have clients and you need to send reports to clients at a specific time of day or week. So uh, before we jump into it, um, this is just the, it's an ugly looking report here. It's just a sample report that I've set up. Um, and let's just make a note to that for the filters we've got set up here, uh, device, city, and date. And um, I'll let you know why I'm, I've mentioned that in a sec. But yeah, so device, city, and the date, they're the three filters that we've got set up. So to set up the schedule, we need to click on the share button, but we don't click on it uh, to the left here. We, we want to make sure that we click on the arrow to the right hand side of share. And then you'll notice here that you've got what five options. So uh, a lot of people don't even realize that these are available, but you can invite people, you can schedule delivery, you can get a report link. You can embed a report or you can download a report. So they're all pretty self-explanatory, but what we're going to be looking at today is scheduling the delivery of the report. Okay, so this is how it will look when you first open this up. I've already scheduled a report, which is why I had to click on the edit button. But basically the options that it gives you here, the the sender from that's always going to be your name and that's that can't be edited and then for the two this is where you can basically type in any email address in here and it will accept it and you can obviously put in multiple email addresses it's also got your email address of your google account in here as well um, and then it gives you the option to customize the email subject and message. So I'll show you how it looks in a sec if you don't customize, but if we do customize, it then lets you to put in the subject and the message. Uh, it then gives you the options of which pages you want to use. So in this report, uh, I've got, what is it, I think four pages. Well, actually, no, was it one, two, three, four, five? The uh, the names of the page is a little bit confusing, but there's five pages here. So you can then choose which pages you want, which pages you don't want. Obviously, you uncheck the ones that you don't want, or if you want to select them all, then you can just select all at the top. Then it gives you the option for a start time, pretty self-explanatory. So you just click on that and then choose... First of all, the date when you want to start sending the report and then the time here on the right hand side. These are all in half an hour increments, all right, starting from 12 midnight to 11.30 p.m. The time zone it's got here, this is just a default time zone um, in your Google settings, I would assume that is. Uh, that should actually say Perth time for me, but just so happens that Hong Kong time is the same time as Perth. Um, and yeah, to change that, I would imagine that you'd need to go into your um, Google settings and, and adjust that. And then uh, repeat. So you've got options here to either do it on a daily basis, weekly on a Thursday. So because the first date that I've set here to um, to send this is on a Thursday, the 22nd of June. Then it's it's got sort of Thursday on here, whereas if I change that to tomorrow's date, then you'll notice that that says weekly on a Friday. So what you've got here is basically a reflection of what you've set up the top there. So Monday on the, sorry, monthly on the fourth Friday. So this date up here is actually the fourth Friday of the month. So here it's just basically assuming that you want it sent each month on the fourth Friday of the month. Okay, so once again, if I change that back to today's date, it will say monthly on the fourth Thursday. 
Or, for example, if it was the 1st of July uh, and that was a, a Monday, for example, then here it would say monthly on uh, the first Monday. All right, then um, you've got another option here for every weekday, Monday to Friday, self-explanatory. Then you've got another one here for custom. So this is where you can set it to go whatever amount you want here on the left-hand side. And then you've got days, weeks, uh, and then it's got months on the 22nd day. So today's the 22nd of the month. It's picking that up there. Uh, or every one month on the fourth Thursday. So you could even set that to every third month on the fourth of Thursday. Just got to play around with those to get them exactly the way that you want it. Then over here for the filters, this is pretty exciting. So you, you remember that I mentioned before that we've got set up on this report the uh, device, the city, and the date. So they are the options that it's giving me here for the filters for this page. Okay, so if we click on device, it will allow us to select specific devices or if this is checked up the top here, then it will be all devices. Same thing here for the city. And then um, you can also set the date filters up here as well. And between those three filters, you can set it to send out exactly the information that you're wanting the client or the person to receive. So that's just for the first page. It's got the options here for each of the other pages. Um, and each of the other pages, I just have a city and a date filter set up. So that's why these are the only ones that are available for the other pages. But um, that's pretty exciting when you can really drill down and segment these reports to only show specific information based on these filters. So if we go back to the settings here, um, and then this option for customize email subject and message. So if you leave that unchecked, then this is what the email will look like, okay? So it's got the name of the report up the top there and then the date. And then if we click into there, it's just basically got the report embedded into the email. And there is also a PDF option here as well where you can click on that attachment and download that as a PDF. Um, I'm not sure if these filters work here in the... Uh, No, they don't. But anyway, you, you can see, it looks like it's not interactive. You can only actually see the report. Um, and I guess the idea is to already filter these down to how they should be before you send it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you've got any other questions that you reckon would be a good idea for me to create a video on, just let me know in the comments below. And hopefully that was helpful.